Welcome, everyone, to the Tether Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host, the Houseco Gamer. Yo. Today, we're doing our next space station look. I will, are do, we're doing a, our next hero ship, but we're not doing a ship this time. We're doing a space station, specifically a Federation space station, which has been named... Ame no Mi Hashira. I'm not sure what the official Starbase number would be. Probably Ro somewhere in the 400s. Yep. But the thing is, well, it, honestly, I don't know too much about the lore for this potential one. Just I decided to. <laughs> I, I've been sort of on an import kink with. I import binge with some of these. And, uh, well, the Orb Space Station Ame no Mihashira from Gundam Seed seemed like a decent option to import. So, basically, just stick this over a Federation colony somewhere. Or, in a or in a crucial trade region we'll, we'll stick it over a colony eh, somewhere important Probably yeah near interstellar concordium space <laughs> fair enough anyway it's... let's let's get to studying this thing lore obviously isn't going to do very much for us yeah. So basically we have a, we're using the standard Federation Starbase profile from Utopia Planitia to start things off. There are rules for building a space station whole cloth, but for this thing we don't need them. The Federation Starbase entered service uh, the basic Federation Starbase type entered service in 2290 and it can basically be used for just about any mission prof any pro starbase mission profile type it is statted as comms 12 computers 11 sen engines 10 sensors 13 structure 12 weapons 10 has command 5 Con 2, Security 3, Engineering 5, Science 5, Medicine 5. It has a doc... It has... It is Scale 12, has Resistance 12, Power 15, Shields 21. And has a docking capacity of 6 ships up to Scale 6. To Scale 6... And can carry up to 11 small craft. And for weapons, it has phaser cannons, phaser arrays, photon torpedoes, and a strength 11 tractor beam. Arrays. Phaser cannons. Photon torpedoes. And while he's busy statting, I can do some starbase debunking. Yeah. For talents, it has enhanced defense grid, rugged design, and secondary reactors, and room for three more. Like I said, we can debunk some starbase myths. Mostly that these things are useless. Let's be perfectly blunt here. What you saw in lower decks was the result of a surprise attack. They didn't get their shields up! And they started, bl and the Texas started blasting. Yes, and uh, be, and honestly, the Douglas wasn't even a standard. I and, he, and beyond that, the Douglas Douglas station was actually its own type of station, a, the same size as Space Dock. There's a profile for it for the Douglas type starbase in the Lower Decks campaign guide. Regardless. And yeah. I'm actually going to shift models for this one. Remember this thing? 
Remember how this thing held off 344 starships, including 10 Odyssey-class Super Dreadnoughts? Yeah. Starfleet Superior, get used to it. Yep. Because this is ESD. This is Probert Station. Probert Station. You see, Starfleet probably realized after the whole Texas kerfuffle. Yes, it probably happened. It happened. Lower Dex's events probably happened, but they're not as stupid as the series is. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it's dumb. Yeah. Kernels of intelligence, but not much. Yeah. So they decide to design something relatively similar to the old ESD, but upgraded to the gills. Indeed. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is amazing. So amazing, it held off 344 starships upwards of 12 hours to a full solar day. Yep. Now let's contrast this with the only other stations that have even tried doing something like this. DS9. Actually, just DS9. Yep. In DS9's three engagements, one, Emissary. She got her ass kicked. It took the wormhole opening up and the Rio Grande towing out Ducat's ship to put an end to that battle. The second battle? Klingons. The, the, yeah, with the massive Klingon fleet in way of the wire. DS9 it... was still getting its ass kicked, not as thoroughly, but Galron could easily have taken DS9 had Starfleet not shown up. That's a war on two fronts, and even Gowron, arrogant as he was, isn't stupid. Yep. Encounter three, the start of the Dominion War. As soon as the minefield was up, and that probably took less than an hour, or another three, or probably two and a half hours, they still folded. This station lasted a day. Yeah. And point of fact, they were also dealing with the drone uprising, just like the rest of the fleet. Because, you seriously think ESD isn't going to be affected? Yeah. That just goes to show you something. Starfleet superior. Everybody else inferior. Yeah. The Starfleet superior, all others inferior. <laughs> you have to do it in the sound wave voice. Well, At point least. Re point remains. Sound wave yeah. has a point. All you have to do yeah. is just swap a word or two around. Yeah. Regardless, this may as well be a god station. Because it was more or less intact and ready for use a year later. Thanks to the D. Yup. Now, first up, right now, uh, before we get to statting this thing, because it it is not stat yet, and we need to do that. We need to correct that. Yes. Let's go back to let's finish up statting Ame no Mihashiro. So, Federation star bases, basic Federation star bases, can have any mission profile. Though in the capabilities section of the of the book, it says. It is most often used as an administrative center for newer member worlds, but they can also be configured to operate as border defense stations when called for. A so, perfect example of this is Klingon Academy. One particular station was being attacked by Chang at the end of the game. Yeah. So, Which also held him back. Yeah. Because Star so Superior. Yeah. If this thing is, if we have this thing near the, uh, if we have this thing 
near ISC space. I'm thinking possibly border enforcement. Very much border enforcement. You know, just to make sure the ISC doesn't do anything remarkably stupid. Border enforcement. Because it's the Interstellar Concordium. Yeah. So, I think in this case, we might actually swap around a few department variables just to make that work a little better. Drop, uh, uh, bring security up to five, and take some point, take a couple of points away from medicine, perhaps medicine down to three. Most like. Okay. So, Command 5, Con 2, Security 5, Science 5, Medicine 3. Or possibly Science 3, Medicine 5, who knows. We can and, this. Yeah. And... Good talent options for this one they suggest are advanced sensor suites, high resolution sensors and rapid fire torpedo launcher I'm thinking high resolution sensors and rapid fire torpedo launcher obviously and possibly uh, well hmm high, resol high resolution sensors definitely and maybe advanced shields just so it takes even more it can take even more of a beating and lastly, either fast tar either fast targeting systems or possibly expanded munitions for quantum torpedoes. More torpedo options are never a bad thing. Alright, so advanced shields. Oh. <sighs> Expended munitions, quantum torpedoes, and yeah, high resolution sensors. Okay, now advanced shields bring this up to twenty six shields. And now to take the stats for the weapons. Quantum torpedoes. Okay. First use the base volume, base stats. Ah. They put the phaser cannons up top. So yeah, phaser cannons. Hmm. Well, I've got most of the I've got the talents figured out. I was just about to put the stats in for the energy weapons while I waited, but I can move on to Probert Station and do those on my do those once we're done. Indeed. If not the twenty third if not the very, very, very beginning of the twenty fifth century. Yeah, we'll we'll put twenty three ninety nine when this thing came online. Federation Station Scripture Trade Federation Station Colossal because this thing is even bigger than uh, the original ESD. I mean this hatch spat out the Enterprise D, the Enterprise F. It spat out the Enterprise F. That's wide enough for an Odyssey class. Yeah. And a Audi is wider than a galaxy. So. Yeah. Now, with. And I'm thinking this thing is probably scale 18. Considering its size, the number of crew it has, yes. Yeah. Now, that said, this does have diminishing returns, and scale 16 is probably... A scale 16 is basically the highest you can get because in terms of point values, so... 
two points higher is just overkill, but hey, works. So we have 78 department points and 30... Uh, thir 78 system points and 30 department points. And mission profile, I think primary is administration bureaucracy. Yes, it is. Because that is more or less his job. It's designed to admi designed to do the same job as ESD. Yeah. Its defensive role is secondary to be blunt. Yep. Yeah. That said, it still held off three hundred and fifty starships. That it did. And so, yes, that is including the Titan A Enterprise G for the brief time that it was under the control of the Collective. Yeah. So, using the basic ESD as something of a guideline, the original ESD had comms 15, computers 13, engines 10, Sensors, 13. Weapons, 12. Structure, 15. I don't see now, any reason to change it. I mean, other than upgrading it, because this is more advanced than ESD could ever be. Yeah. Not, yeah, not sure how, how much we could do to adjust that. And... Department-wise, ESD, the original ESD had command six. Star bases can go up to six in department values. Con four. Security four. Engineering six. Science five. Medicine five. For this one, I'm thinking possibly drop medicine, drop science to four and con to three. To bring security all the way up to six. In reference to the fact that it held off an entire fleet of starships for a full day. Yep. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm never getting over that. I cannot yep. get over the fact that this thing held off a fleet for well over 24 hours, because. Yeah. It has been debated about how useful these things are. In the defensive and, role. Yeah. Weapons, phaser arrays. Phaser arrays probably has phaser cannons, too. Yeah, phaser Obviously cannons. Obviously it has photon torpedoes. I'm pretty sure it also has quantums. They just never get used. Photon torpedoes... Quantum torpedoes. And a Strength 17 tractor beam. Indeed. Yes, this thing, this thing probably has the most powerful tractor beam emitters possible. Now, talent-wise, the original ESD had Command Ship, Construction Dry Dock, Docking Capacity, Enhanced Shield Grid, Repair Crews, Two instances of secondary reactors and sturdy construction. I have no reason to change any of that. Because, as you might have noticed, there was a starship undergoing final refitting inside Probert Station. Yeah. The Titan A. Or Enterprise yep. G, depending on when you want to... Yep. Take its true name from. It's shield grid. Pair cruise. We're gonna have to do a Constitution three. Yep. Secondary reactors X two and sturdy. Construction. So, docking capacity. Let's see. Docking capacity. Uh, let's see. Talents. Talents. Need to see what the. Need to look up what these things do again. 
let's see, do docking capacity. Starbase has a number of docking ports equal to one and a half times its scale rounding down. So with scale 18, this thing can hold 27 ships. I think that would have to go a lot higher. Yeah. Because 27, it, sure, that's reasonable inside the main dome, but... Uh, yeah. Are you seeing the fact that this has, mul has five separate things? All yeah. those could hold at least one starship the size of a Constitution 3. Yeah. Well, it, by the rules, ha a one and a half times its scale rounding down, so scale 18 time scale 18 divided by 2 times 3 9 times 3 is 27 and the maximum scale of any ship that may dock at the station is increased by 2 normally again this is half the scale of the station so this thing can hold ships of up to to scale 11 <laughs> So it and, can easily fit in a couple of oddies. Yeah. And small craft, one one fewer than the scale, so 17. Let's see. Enhanced shield grid, or enhanced defense grid. Let's see. Enhanced defense grid. Sh or increased shield station shields are increased by an amount equal to half the station's scale. All right, let's look back at the derived stats again. All right, structure plus security. Uh, so, st structure 15, security 6, that's 21. Add 9 for the scale. This thing has 30 shields. No wonder it lasted a full day. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it's time for the descriptor traits, because there's no special rules I can think of. Yeah. Fe yeah. I, power is power is equal to engines plus the secondary reactors, so it has twenty power, just like the original ESD. And now for my favorite part. Descriptor traits. Like the original ESD, it has Federation Station and Colossal. How about Holy Freaking Laser Show? <laughs> oh, oh. Holy Freaking Laser Show. Because as much as I hate the people at Track Central for being dumb... The statement involving ESD and the whole firefight is rather fitting. Because, yes, it is like Daft Punk took control of Tactical. <laughs> yeah. You might as well be playing Darude Sandstorm. Yeah. I'm a flyer in my laser. <laughs> no, no, yeah. not lasers. Phasers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And probably, let's see, um, holy frickin' laser show, I've put that in quotes. Uh, and cent central hub of the Federation? Yeah. Also, planetary shield holder. Because when ESD went down, the planetary shields went down. Central hub of the Federation planetary shield holder. Okay. Yes, Probert Station. She won by endurance. She basically went, I'm going to take you all on. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. And she did. And held the line long enough for Picard and the Enterprise D to take out the Collective. Yup. Unsung hero. Yeah, we'll put that in too. Unsung hero. Uh, 
This thing's got a lot of descriptor traits, but it needs them. <laughs> it deserves them. Yep. Because let's be honest. This thing saved the day. It won by endurance, and it kept the Borgified fleet at bay long enough for Picard to save the day. Yep. And so, that is our two first star base thing. One for the Ame no Mihashira border defense station uh, near ISC space, and one for Probert station. Otherwise known as, why won't you die? <laughs> yes, Probert station, the new ESD, one of the tankiest star bases around. Bye-bye. <laughs>